Cut the guy, I'm Alitic Marold, and what you are watching is basically a bit of a follow-up video to my to the video I uploaded yesterday, which if you haven't seen it, there's going to be a link to the description. It was basically an announcement of my Pokemon Y Egglock series. And I got a lot of questions in the comment section down below, which is why I decided to do like this follow-up video and um, yeah, explain basically how PK Hex works, how to install it, um, all the options you can have there. Uh, and yes, uh, Let's just jump into it, basically. PK Hex, um, this is going to be a tutorial about PK Hex, as I said, because um, a lot there was a lot of questions. Um, the installment, you don't really have to install it. All you got to do is download a file, go to your browser, Chrome or Mozilla or Firefox, I mean Firefox or whatever, and just type in PK Hex. Um, the first, the first link that's gonna pop up, that's the right one. Or you can go to the, the description of this video. There's gonna be a link there which you will just click. And it's gonna get you to this site right here. And here's gonna be everything about PK Hex. It says whatever uh, it says. And you're gonna go download location right here. You're gonna click that. And you're gonna click to download file. You can't see that because that's a bit to the right. But okay, see download file right here, right there to the right. Um, let me let me let me let me do a little bit of this live editing. Yay! See download file is right there. Click it. Then download zip. Um, I'm gonna click that and. Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Also, it's gonna say number two right here with me. Uh, right there. See the bottom left corner? It's gonna open a PK Hex zip file, which you can extract either using 7-zip or WinRAR or whatever extraction program you have. Um, just click that. Basically, it's gonna open this up. Um, yeah, let's ignore that. Let's ignore that. Um, and these two files. Basically, I have a folder right here. Um, it's uh, it's a new folder. It's an empty folder. Just drag and drop this into here and it's gonna open up PK hex uh, for you PK hex cord and these files you need to have them All right, this is basically this is the program you have now to open it up It's gonna ask you if you want to make a backup folder. No, it's not. I mean it might ask you if you want to make a backup folder um, If not, that's fine. But yeah, basically this is the program. Let me see. Let me do a little bit of this so you guys can see it better um now, why do you, first of all, why would you want to use PK Hex? PK Hex is a great program. If you have save files, no, if you have uh, files, if you have the ability to use Homebrew Launcher or if you have custom firmware to extract the save files of your 3DS games, this is a great program because uh, you can basically um, go to file, open something, and you can see main, uh, this is the, this is my extracted file from my Pokemon Y copy. Um, I just started, so, you know, I chose Froakie as a starter, but we can open this up and see that we have a party box here, um, just the Milotic egg, which is illegal. I chose uh, Froakie as my starter. It says it's legal because I, I didn't nickname it. It's whatever. Um, yeah, and these are all the boxes in my, well, save file. Basically, I can edit. My box is here. If I want to, I can do whatever I want. I can I can make my Froakie level 100 change change the ability to modest. I guess sure, because why not? And give it no. Let's let's make it 98, because that that means it's gonna be able to evolve. Now it's level 98 um, with modest nature, so that's nice. Um, I can also change its stats or um, attacks, but that that's really not the point right now. Um, so this is it. That's that's why you use PK Hex, right? But in my video yesterday, I said you guys were asking me, do you need 3DS for this, uh, for to send me eggs? And no, you don't need 3DS to send me eggs because you can also use this um, as a Pokemon generator, basically. Um, see, if I close it down, um, yes, I wish I, I want to leave and open it up again. Um, I can also use, I can also create files, right? I can do this Pokemon and make a Pokemon file, which on my computer, of course. You don't need a 3DS. You can basically do something here. You can do species, uh, species. I guess. Let's do Milotic, because I always do Milotic. Um, click the nickname tab. Name her Grace, because that's you know that's how we do it. And let's 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 just. I guess let's go Feebas, because if it's gonna be an uh, if it's gonna be an egg, let's let's go Feebas. Modest nature, as always, because why not? Held item, lefties. See, that's, that's, you can choose, you can choose whatever you want. You can give it species, nickname, experience, level. You can basically set it to whatever 
you want. But if if you're sending sending an egg, you're you're gonna probably want to have it level one. And click is egg ability swift swim. That's fine. And you can also make it shiny with this nice and left uh, thingy right here. Make it shiny. If you don't wanna make it shiny, if if you have something shiny and you don't want it to be shiny, you click re-roll here, and it's gonna re-roll the PID, and it's not gonna be shiny mo anymore. So again, if you want it shiny, click here. If you don't want a shiny, re-roll. It's as simple as that. Um, country and region, you don't really have to worry about that unless you are actually gonna put them in your save file. Because if you want, if you're gonna put them in your save file, um, just make make the country uh, the same country you are. Uh, you have like, I don't know, make it UK or something like that, or USA depends on which game you have. Um, sub region, it's gonna ask you like, okay, so let's do UK, um, United Kingdom sub-region that's England or whatever and make it Europe um, doesn't really matter if you if if you don't know what it is just let it be okay that's fine next met this is this is different on every single games like if you're playing ultra moon ultra sun and ultra moon uh, different this is basically where you got the Pokemon to make it legal right and Fibas, um ultra sun ultra sun I'm gonna do Paniola Ranch because if you breed Pokemon um, Paniola Ranch is where it's, it's happening. Met level is gonna be uh, level one because it's gonna be the egg and Pokeball. Yeah, sure, Pokeball. Um, basically, if you were doing for it, because I mean, I'm gonna do this for Pokemon Y. If I were to do Pokemon Y, I would go Pokemon Y, no Pokemon Y, and then Met location. Um, I don't know where where the I think it's Route 13. Um, where you get where where the, where the daycare is, but I'm not really sure. I should probably look that up. But yeah, anyway, um, that's basically it for the Met tab. Now, moving on, stats. Uh, this is, if you don't know, Pokemon have stats. EVs, IVs are two different stats. One's internal, no, one's, yeah, one's internal value and one's effort value, um, which basically IVs are kind of like genes, 31, 31. You can do randomized, randomized, or you can put 31 in all of them. Um, if, you, if you're if you're gonna make a competitive Pokemon, you're probably gonna want to put 31 in all your IVs and then like uh, put 252 in HP and 252 in uh, freaking special attack and that's it. You can only have 510 EVs. That's how the game works. Um, okay, yeah, stats. That's it. Attacks. Um, I know I know. Fibas get splash splash on them haters. Um, Dragon Breath, uh, Dragon Breath as one of them um, is an egg move. Then Hypnosis is Hypnosis and uh, let's say Brine because I know those are all the moves. This is making a legal Pokemon, by the way. Do that and Met Location is not. Uh, eggs cannot receive IVs. Oh, okay, okay, of course. Um, in valid egg location, right? So this this is nice because it tells you what's wrong. Um, Eggs, uh, eggs can't hold items. That's a thing. But I'm doing an egg lock, so you can you can ignore that. You can choose to ignore that for an egg lock. If you're sending uh, eggs for the egg lock, you don't have basically the Pokemon don't have to be legal. And uh, in my egg lock, they don't have to be legal at all. You can send whatever. You can send send Kyogres with different moves and whatever. But yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it for the attacks. I guess I'm just gonna leave it like that. And the original trainer, it's gonna say by default, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, TID and secret secret ID is gonna be five, four, three, two, one, and it's gonna say PK Hex. Just don't touch this. Don't touch this. It's fine unless you want to specially touch this. Um, don't, don't. Um, and yeah, basically now we've created a Pokemon for a Neglog. for a Neglog. And I, okay, words. What are they? Um, now you go to the file tab, right? Uh, bottom uh, no top left top left of the program file and it's gonna ask you to save a pkm file and we're gonna do just that let's see let me go to my desktop where my desktop at um desktop and i got uh this and here is my freaking uh, new and it's gonna ask you how you want to save a pokemon and you can give it whatever nickname you can leave it as it is you can do just trace or whatever you can do whatever right and save that and now as you can see here in the folder you can't really see that um it created a pokemon file it's it says whatever dot pk7 and that's basically it that's the pokemon we've created i can close this out and if i open it if i open it this is going to be saved a pokemon right here and as you can see if i do if i open the 
I don't really, okay, I don't, I don't know where it is right now. But anyway, when I'm gonna open the main file, the save game, um, for my party box, I'm gonna just drag, grab this, grab this, drop it in here, egg's gonna be there, and that's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm not gonna see what it is, I mean, I'm prob I might see it, but what it is, but anyway, that's, that's, that's basically how it works. Um, all you gotta do, all you gotta do, yes, I wanna say, I don't wanna say, all you gotta do is send those egg eggs to me, or, yeah, again, Fuck, I'm really not good at explaining, but, um, you know, people wanted me to do this. I hope I tried, I tried to explain, I hope I got everything. If not, again, questions in the comment section below, I will gladly answer them. Uh, shit's dope, yo. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Um, questions, I will answer them. I hope, I hope, I hope this helps you. If it helps you, leave a like down below. Of course, subscribe if you're new. Check out that video, send me eggs, send me eggs. I hope this helps you, s help you. No, I hope this helps you help me. And yes, that's it. That's it. That's pretty much it for me. Um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Bye-bye.